Hey guys, Paul from Net Audio here, and we're going to talk about a product that we've been making for a while, and we just thought doing a little informative video would make things a little easier and answer some extra questions for you. What we have here is a harness that we make. This, this version is for the 2019 and up 5th gen Rams that come with the Harman system. So if you have the Harman Kardon system, then this is going to make adding a subwoofer into your truck much, much simpler. We started making harnesses and interfaces because our subwoofer sales started dropping off. I reached out to some customers on social media and in the forums and said, hey, what's going on? Is there somebody talking online or you know, why, why have things really slowed down? And they told me guys with new trucks were afraid of tying in on their factory systems because they were afraid of the complication with them. We were like, well, we do it all the time. Here's the parts that we're using. And we started making these harnesses and interfaces. So we've been doing that for about a decade now. And what we have for the new Rams is this harness. And this is just one of the versions that we offer for it. And we'll go into that later. To make the installation simple for our DIY guys is this plugs in at the factory subwoofer behind the seat. If you have the Harman system, then it's highly likely you have the reclining seats. You can actually get to all of this stuff without having to pull the seat or anything like that. What you do is you can pull the seats, you can flip it forward and pull the carpet, you can reach up actually from under the carpet and you can get to the factory plug. You unplug the subwoofer and you plug it into here. And that's it. So this is gonna get you your subwoofer signal uh, that you need for you know, adding a subwoofer to your new truck. It's that simple. That signal is going to our converter. And then the other half, it's a big Y harness. So the other half of this harness is your power, ground, and remote. The way this works, yellow is power, black is ground. When this converter sees audio and when it sees power, it will create the remote turn on for you. This will tell your new amplifier to hook up. So you've got signal, It'll make your RCA signal for your new amp, and then you get power and remote and everything, and it's all in one bundle. And the way that we install this is we get our power and ground at your new amplifier connections. This way, you're already going to have to run that remote wire to your new amp, so this way you can just get all of them from the same location, and it makes for a really straightforward installation. Then, since this is coming with the Harman system, we're also supplying the ANC harness. This is going to disable the ANC system and it's going to plug in underneath the driver's seat. Uh, and we've got a video that kind of talks about this. If you don't install this piece, you get this drone and the sound, the subwoofers will whoa, 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 because the active noise cancellation is fighting itself. This makes for a much, much simpler installation. One thing that we really preach around here is your ground, your ground for your new amplifier. So we've been using PAC uh, LP7-2 we use these converters religiously. Locally, with our parts that we ship online, we use these harnesses if you come to us. We don't just sell these, we actually use them in our installations. We never have problems with these converters on local installations. The only time we have problems is with our online customers. And most of those, if we see them come back, the issue is it comes down to your grounding for the new amp. Do not ground it to a factory stud on the back wall. Do not ground it to a one of the factory grounding points do not stick it under a seat bolt or anything like that you need to make your own proper ground and the reason for that is this amplifier is trying to work really really hard and if it can't get a good ground the way electricity works it's going to go path of least resistance so it's going to go hunt out whatever it can do for the best ground that it can find and a lot of times it's going to chase back through your rcas so when that ground is going to loop and go back through, it'll burn out the converter. And now you have no converter, you have no sound. Customers were saying, hey, my light's on, but I've got no remote out, or my light's not even powering up, or uh, I'm getting no audio, any number of different things. We test these. Every one of these that you get is gonna come inside just you know super basic packaging. They all come with a tested and date by uh, certification. It says what the product is, what date it was that we tested it, and who it was that tested it. So that way, we're verifying that this functions, and we have this whole test array set up on our, in our bay, 
and we plug it in, we pass audio through it, we make sure it's putting out RCA signal, we make sure it's putting out remote signal. So if you buy this from us, we know that it is shipping out and leaving here good. And ever since we started shipping those, we don't have any issues. We get very, very, very few issues with products. That is just our reminder. Really, really make sure that you have a good, clean, solid ground for your new amplifier. Audio-wise, this does very well for most cases, uh, but we do have options for doing the same harness where we can add an interface from audio control or wave tech, you know, something else to boost up that signal, and that's a whole other conversation on what those offer you. If you have any questions on tying in with your Harman system, give us a shout, give us a call. You know, and we can walk you through whatever product's going to be best option for you. You can hit us up in the comments below and we'll always respond to those. Uh, or if you want, you can shoot us an email at netaudiowf at gmail.com or you can call the shop at 940-767-1800 and we'll get you taken care of. Thanks, guys.